many haters because people feel like what I'm doing is easy. They feel like they feel like Auto Tune makes a song a smash. You know what I'm saying? They feel like you don't have to write a good song to have a smash. You just gotta say whatever you want to. Just say Michael Bublé eight times in a in a row, and that's a hook. And and then you got <laughs> and you put Auto Tune on, and you got a smash record. I think that's why. I think people felt like. You know, it's the same thing like people feel like, um, you know, like reality show stars shouldn't be famous. Like how, how many people hate Snooki? Snooki's rich. Can't say nothing about that. <laughs> I mean, even me, I don't know what she got famous for either. She got famous for being Snooki, but she rich and you can't do nothing about it because you sitting at home blogging <laughs> about how much you hate somebody that's rich. I, it, don't, it don't matter to me. Looking back to things, do you think... Uh, Jay-Z's song, Get a Lot of Tune, had an impact on your career? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The crazy thing is, and a lot of people don't see it like this, but, I mean, if you really look at it, he made me famous. He made me real famous because if he if he hadn't done that, the people that were just Jay-Z fans, like, you know, you know, not to put him in a demographic, but, like, white people that just know who Jay-Z is because he's so famous, they now know who I am. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, a lot of people see this as a bad thing. I mean, it only made me more famous because nobody knew who who he was talking about. And nobody, you know what I'm saying? And everybody was trying to figure out what is this beef and who is he talking about? Why is, why does he hate this thing so much? And the second you look up auto-tune, I'm the first person that's coming up. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? You want to Google you know, death of auto-tune, I'm going to just, I mean, it's going to be uh, Jay-Z and then I'm going to be right under that. So, hey, I, if I can be in Jay-Z's category any day, I'm fantastic. I love it. They had, a, I mean, it had an impact on my on my career. It was a good impact. You know what I'm saying? And, I mean, you got some avid Jay-Z followers and avid Jay-Z fans that's still like, oh, DOA, get out of here. Jay-Z killed you. No, I'm, 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 I'm still rich. <laughs> Well, I spoke with Jay-Z uh, a couple times at the Grammys, um, at, so, at just some random parties, you know what I'm saying? Like, I saw him a bunch of times, and, I mean, we just was like, that whole thing was stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, for us, to, you know, just to, just making it bad and looking at it in a bad way. I mean, he's Jay-Z. He's got probably more power than anybody in the, in the industry right now. And, you know, I'm me, so nothing's going to change. I make smashes, he make money. Nothing's going to change.